Okay, again, pedal on top. Then there's light gray, there's the cyan, purple, blue, brown, green, red, black. Okay, so... Alright, we do have some red petals. Alright, so that will be the place we store our flowers and petals. Now, where does that leave us for here? Um, also, I don't want a crate because of those buttons. I thought there ought to be a fix for that, but I don't know what it is. So, so let's change this out for a silver chest. Go, got a silver chest. Okay. Alright, so I guess I will put you down here, and then this guy over here, and the petal apothecary, and finally the pitcher plant. Alright, so what are we going to do with our mana generation and whatnot? Um, I'm thinking right out here is fine. So I need to put a mana spreader somewhere. Let's see here. Is that centered? That's centered, isn't it? So maybe, I don't know, right here? Nah, it's too close. One more. Yeah, I just I like some walking space. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, get that taken care of. And then let's bind you to the mana pool. Where's my wand of the forest? I have a very hard time seeing these things sometimes. I don't know why. All right, so then you are going to be from this guy, and you are going to go to this guy. Let's bind you. And now we need a place to set up our things. I'm thinking right over here on the other side of the house would be a fine place to put them. Nah, it's kind of, it's kind of an awkward spot, I think. Yeah, I'll put them over here some. Where's my destruction gadget? Let's clear out some more terrain. Okay, shift right click. So, actually that looks like it's set right already. So what else do I need? I also need a second mana pool for the alchemy catalyst. So let's go get one of those too. We're going to need... Something tells me it's getting confused like this. Need to put that chest on the left, I think. Does that work? There we go. Okay. So, living rocks. Get me another mana pool. Need another mana spreader. I think. Sounds right. Need a piece of gold and a petal. So I need to go get some gold. There we go. And we'll put this guy here and put you over there. So all of these flowers are going to generate mana and put it in this pool. And then he will take from this pool and put it in this pool. I think that's how I think it works. I'm not 100% sure, but we will see what happens. So going to need some charcoal. I'd like to get a bunch. I don't have a bunch yet. We'll have to start cooking that up. Uh, okay, and let's set up the pure daisy again. So maybe just right over here. It feels in a very, if this, it just feels awkward set up here. 
I think I will set it into the ground just a little bit. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And then we will have stuff here that we will walk over most of the time, and that will be fine. So let's go get some wood and some stone. Alright, what, what's in here? Um, jungle wood, birch wood. Let's get rid of my excess kinds of wood. So, yeah, I will take the birch wood and I'll get stone from the dank null. Starting to use up my stone. Oh well, it's fine. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That will just kind of sit over there. At most time, I'll just walk right over it because I won't, I won't need those all the time, but it's good to have them set up again. So I'll stick this and this in this chest, I'll leave it here. I think that is a pretty good setup for what I want to do. All I need now is the alchemy catalyst which requires some brewing stands. I don't have any blaze rods. I do have some blaze powder, though. If we had 10 of them, we could get a compactor and turn it into a blaze rod. Can we get you two? I mean, you get five, uh, five powder for each one. Oh, man, I'm one short. Any way to get this stuff? Cinder pearl. Cool. I knew I kept this for a reason. Uh, is it better to sag mill this thing? You can't sag mill it. Okay, that's fine then. We'll just go ahead and do that. And we'll take the rest of my blaze powder. And we will make a compactor. So I want to make one of those. Don't need that anymore. So a compactor requires some bronze, a machine frame, a piston, some copper. Okay, copper, redstone, uh, tin, iron, gold. Sure, we need all that stuff, right? Okay, get me a tin gear and a machine frame couple copper gears, redstone coil, and we're missing a piston. There we go, a compactor. And let's upgrade it. Okay. Oh, also need another conduit. Where's my, this guy, that's what I want. Okay, so we'll stick you on there, upgrade you, turn your config to be off, and yeah, if we stick you, five in a compactor will get us blaze rods. So there we go, We're getting some blaze rods. Perfect. There we go. Blaze rods. Look, I made the advancement into fire. I have been shot by blazes before. I just didn't get any... Hi, creepy. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I see it. Alright. I'm not going to worry about him. Let's go put some things back. And we needed... What we need that for? Brewing stand or something? Okay, you need a mana pearl, living rock, gold. Okay, need a couple pieces of gold. Everything else I should have, I think. Go get the brewing stands. Alright, there we go. Yeah, just need an ender pearl for the mana pearl.
All right, where's my sword? You know, it would be a great idea to have a back door to this place because... Okay. Alchemy catalyst. Let's go make that guy. The creeper somewhere over there. I'm not going to worry about him. He looks like he's far away on the map, so that should not bother me too much. So, let's go make an alchemy catalyst. Oh yeah, mana pearl. Oh, we have no mana. Um, is there enough in there if I dump that back in there for a second? Let's, let's see if there is. Okay, well that's what I wanted to know. Will it transfer over here? And it does, so that's cool. Now I have no mana, so now I'm slow again. There we go, enough in there, cool. That will do for now. And there we go, an alchemy catalyst. Let's go ahead and scan you. So basically, uh, this pool over here, we're going to dig under that and put the al alchemy catalyst in here. And what will happen is we can then transmute things. For instance, cacti into slime balls. And that will be very useful. So, let's go get some cactus. Yeah, I'm slow again. It's okay. We'll get more mana. Okay, I just need a couple of actual slime balls right now. So, let's just go ahead and get two of them. And hopefully I have enough mana in here to do that. Perfect. Just enough. So that was, that's what I needed to do to get back into Thomcraft. So now we can start working on that. Where did we leave off? You know what, actually, before I do that, let's go get some charcoal. All right, I'm gonna take these out here to the other place. That's all my charcoal though. So need to make more of that. But, we will. So, they should pick that up. Generate mana, go to my other pool. And we will get some uh, for my tablet when that is done. Just going to have to put up with being slow until then, I guess. All right, so I wanted my Thaumonomicon. So that's in here, my Akashic Tome. All right, gunpowder. Oh yeah, we also need ink sacks. I don't think I've killed a single squid. All right, gonna go have to go find a squid too. I will go do that and come back and we will get back to work on Thaumcraft. All right, got everything I need to continue with Hedge Alchemy. So for the next step, all we have to do is duplicate these things. They happen to have the right aspects and they're their own catalysts, so all we have to do is toss them in the crucible. And we just get them back. So, there we go. Completed that step. Next one we'll have to do a bit more manually. I don't know why we made clay, but whatever. We need to make string, cobwebs, and lava buckets. So, string is going to be... Let's see here. We're going to need some wheat with, what is that, Bestia and Fabrico, which I think we can get from wool. And then cobwebs are gonna be string with Vinculum, which we can get from doors. Well, bucket requires Ignis and Terra Ignis and Terra, which we get from coal and stone or dirt. We have a lot of dirt right now. Okay, so yeah. So let's go find some more of the things that we're going to need. So I need some wheat. I need some wool. That 
should be in the organics chest. That's 15 and 5. So what would that be? Like 6 wheat catalysts? Would that be right? So it's going to be what? Um, I, want, I want there to be an even number of aspects so we can clean up with the with the with the quartz shards. So you it, when you get when you throw a quartz sliver in here, you need to have an even number of aspects, otherwise it won't clean up because it requires two aspects per shard to get a crystal. So let's get some more crystals because you need tons of these things. So I've done the the math right. Um, I think I did the math right. So yeah, we need five bestia, and there's 15 on this. That's three of them. So yeah, two of them will get us six. And then we'll clean up the rest of the fabrico that we don't need. All right, so string requires vincula. We need some oak doors. I've got one. It's got odd numbers, so we're going to need a couple more of these. So uh, I have no wood. I was starting to make more wood, so let's go get that. Alright, you can go in there and I don't really know where I put the sawdust, but it'll go wherever it goes. Uh, I guess it's in here somewhere. Sometimes it does or dictionary things, so uh, even if there's no item in there, it might still go in here, which is the only real downside to this sorting system. But it's fine. We will get into a fine source once we've got, uh, you know, more power or whatever. So let's take some. Those are spruce doors. I wanted oak doors. Does it matter? Well, I don't think it matters, but I want to clean up my doors too. So let's just get some oak wood so I can do that all right there we go now I will have an even number of oak doors so I think I want to need two of these guys and we needed five of that so we're gonna need two pieces of string for that all right Okay, and then we need a bucket with Ignis and Terra. So get a couple pieces of charcoal. That'll be our Ignis. And our Terra is going to have to come from either... Dirt's probably a good option. Where's my this guy yeah because this dirt's got yeah it's got five on there so is that right I may need more dirt than that because we need 15 that's gonna be 30 30 and 10 no that that's that's right but we're gonna need two buckets Do we have any buckets right now I'm guessing that we don't so let's make a couple of buckets. All right, so the lava bucket should be an even recipe. No, it won't. It's going to have some uh, precantasia left over. No, that's not right. It's going to have some potentia left over. All right, get rid of the dank no. Get me my reservoir. Set you to empty. All right. So let's start with the lava buckets. So charcoal and dirt with these buckets should get me lava buckets. Something tells me I did not go to plan. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I did there, but uh, 
Definitely didn't do something right. All right, well, whatever. What's done is done, I guess. That's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, have you thought about liking and subscribing? Trust me, it's totally awesome. All right, see you next time.